Benoit, can you mute the TV, please? We're getting started. Let him laugh, let him weep, let him yell, let him sing. Only one must say. Let him leave me traps and men to pray to Jehovah. Me, I pray. Let him laugh, let him weep, let him yell, let him sing. Only one must say. Let him leave me traps and men to pray to Jehovah. Me, I pray. Mirai be me instead of playing games For chasing fame, let somebody set the lack of flames no Living my life to the fullest And shout out my halala to the fullest Let my lungs out I'm still rising up to greater highs As long as I'm Hello, Bonjour San Bonani. Welcome, welcome to Rise to Greater Heights Network Where you can turn your fears into greater success While seizing new opportunities It is so significant to have a positive mindset More especially under these circumstances So this network has the potential to completely revolutionize Every aspect of your life and career My name is Dr. Riel and Kunene And I'm going to be your host for today So if you're watching us online Please feel free to put in the chat box Where you're watching us from And what you hope to achieve from our podcast. Today, we are surrounded by greatness in the worldwide world. We have an amazing speaker who's going to share some nuggets on uh, being destined for greatness, being destined for greatness. So in uh, in Toronto, Ontario, we have uh, Kamal El Rasin. So yeah, hello, good morning, good day to all of you. Yes, at this moment, I'll just uh, let Kamal to introduce him, himself. Oh, sure. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure and honor to be here with all of you. It's uh, It's been a really nice couple of months when we got talking about this, and I'm <clears throat> grateful that I am here with all of you today. So I hope you're all uh, having an amazing day, and it could be. It's a choice that we, we have to make. So my name is Kamal. I am a student uh, all the time. I'm always learning, always growing. And I've, I've been in business for 25, uh, 25 years. Most of the time has been in manufacturing, working in plants as a you know, general manager, VP of positions. Uh, but originally I, I came from Lebanon, right? So I migrated from Lebanon to Canada and then to the US. And uh, yes, I do have some ground still in Canada, but mostly now I'm in the United States in Cincinnati, Ohio. So I am a business and leadership coach. Um, I've helped a lot of people get uh, their businesses up and running. I've managed very large teams. And I got to say, I'm grateful that I had the honor to study with Bob Proctor. Uh, Bob Proctor was considered to be the number one in human potential. He's passed away now. And uh, he was in the movie, The Secret. So if you haven't seen that movie, haven't learned much about the law of attraction, I've learned it from him firsthand. And uh it's just been an incredible journey since meeting him, you know, four and a half, five years ago. And uh, 
I today I'm going to share with you a few things and uh, let's uh, let us have fun with it. You know, it's it's not about me. It is about you. It's about your goals and dreams. Uh, it's about what you want to do and what you want to become. So. Oh, wow. Wow. It's such a great honor to have you, Kamal. Honestly, I'm like, uh, you wear different hats, but you're still here. You're still here uh, trying to impact the, the world with everything that you have inside of you. So it's such a great honor to have you. And I am really, really looking forward to hear more of your message. So okay. Kamal, I have a question for you. I have a question for you. If you happen to have your own billboard, so I don't know where your billboard is going to be, or maybe your billboard is already out there. I don't know. What will your billboard say? Um, I would say caring and integrity about, you know, helping others become what they want to become. So that's, that's one of the big things is, you know, building teams, you know, good leaders do things so that others make them look good exceptional leaders make others see themselves really good so that's kind of the thing right so you can be a good or a great leader where you make others you know see you as the star whereas i'm on the different side and the exceptional leader side where you make others feel good about themselves you make others feel how great they are so that they can grow because it's not selfishness it's about giving them the opportunity to grow Wow, I love that you've mentioned caring, you've mentioned integrity, because uh, honestly, like, um, as a coach myself, like, all I want to see in my clients is just movement and growth. Once mm -hmm. I see that I will know for sure that what, whatsoever I am doing is uh, really impacting uh, other people's lives out there. And um, uh, when going over your rich bio that I'm still going to go over it, I can honestly tell that you are the right person who will just keep on in inspiring uh, your clients, your people that you are trying to build them up. Because I believe that we are all here. The only purpose that we're here is just to build each other up instead of like... Uh, tearing anyone down i love your billboard i love your billboard so we're gonna get started <laughs> we're gonna get started so kamal Rasi is an award-winning author of thinking into results with forward by uh, laurel yes laurel langmeyer laurel langmeyer yeah Langmire. okay from the movie the secret and uh she i believe she's a number one new york five times bestseller so Kamal al Rasi is also an expert business and leadership coach and uh, a sales consultant uh, certified by the late Bob Proctor. He's also a coach with Laura Langmire, <laughs> the millionaire maker. So Kamal has spent 24 years, wow, 24 years in professional business management and he holds um, several degrees in engineering and an MBA. Most recently, he held uh, the position of a VP as well as a GM for Republic Steel. So Kamal al Rasi helps entrepreneurs, CEOs and managers to start living a better life and multiply their income, getting them to start living freely to their full potential. So the process is a show system for peak performance and uh, to break away from the perk and start living happy, healthy, and wealthy. So kings and queens, please join me and welcome Kamal al -Rasi. Thank you so much for this beautiful introduction. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing, but it's, it's uh, with... Uh integrity and honesty this is just to enable others that if i can do this they can do this you know this guy from lebanon who could barely speak english when he came to canada can do all this in a short amount of time every one of you out there listening you can do it you just gotta make up your mind and this is what we're going to help you with today with this conversation yes take it away come on okay very good how, how much time do i have uh real how much time do you need <laughs> <laughs> awesome well let, let's take well, maybe 10 12 minutes and i'm not sure if there's going to be questions but mm -hmm. so again thank you all for listening thank you for listening live and thanks for being here and uh, the fact that you're here means a lot the fact that you're here means you are already separating yourself from below the average because most people are not doing that most people are stuck most people are really um 
not doing what they need to do on a daily basis to grow and become that next person, right? You know, going to school, getting a job is, is very basic, very minimal right now, depending where you're at in the world. But if you really want to become somebody, if you really want to become part of that five, six percent that are making it happen and have this legacy, have this uh, contribution to society, you're going to have to differentiate uh, yourself. So the way I break my uh, coaching and, and teaching to my clients is basically a systematic study an elite mentorship and accountability. And part of that is mindset, part of that is skill set, and part of that is investing. But what I want to share with you today is that um, is, is a, you know, a few notes on a beautiful article that I learned from the late Earl Nightingale. He was the one who mentored Bob Proctor. All right. And if you, you know, once you get to see part of the, my book, you'll see a little bit of some words that Earl used. And uh, Earl said, it's the strangest secret. And if you've never heard this 40 minute of audio, it's the best literature you've ever heard in your life. The strangest secret. Why is this so strange? What's so secret about it? What's this movie the secret about? Why only 5% succeed? Why 95% of the people are struggling most of their life? Why some people always seem to be getting from one job to a better job, from one house to a better house, to a nicer house, to a nicer car, while others are stuck from worse to worse, to illness, to sickness, to desperation, to anxiety and disintegration. You see others moving, you see others going down and it's generational, it's genetic, it's habitual. And he called it the strangest secret. Now it's not strange and it's not a secret. And that's that's the mission that I'm on, that I want to help as many of you as I can. On my goal, I have a thousand people. We're about a hundred so far helping, is to help people to really get this secret, get them to really grow. Well, why is that? Well, it's perhaps because when I was little, I didn't have and I wanted more. And now I'm on this mission to help more people to have more, right? Only 5% succeed. Isn't that annoying? It doesn't matter if you have a degree. It doesn't matter if you have a certificate or not. See, I had five degrees before I started succeeding to, to my satisfaction, right? See, by the age of seven, you're already reading and writing. By the age of 25, you already have a job. Hopefully a bit earlier, my kids, they got earlier and maybe age 14, 15, they started working. I'm blessed with two daughters. I'm grateful for that. But by the age of 25, you already have a job starting to raise your own family. By the age of 65, 55% are broke and still dependent on society to help them. I'm talking in North America. I'm not talking in a third world. I'm not talking in a country that has desperate needs and war and all kinds of stuff. I'm talking in North America, Canada, US, you know. How come? When by the age of seven, you're reading and writing. By the age of 25, you're working. And then by the time you get to 65, you're still broke. 55% are broke. Only 5% make it to that rich level financially. And I'm not talking just money. I'm talking health. I'm talking wealth. I'm talking happiness, right? So what's the strange, what's so secret about it? And this is what I call mindset. And this is when people on, think of mindset, they're like, oh, this is just some kind of philosophy. No, it is up here. It's all in your mind. It's all in your mind. So Earl goes on to say, believe and succeed. So what do you believe you want to become? What do you believe is your route? Where, where, where do you want to go, right? If you wake up every day and you're intentional on your goal, do you believe you're going to make it? Do you believe? Or do you think you're not going to make it? See, your mind is controlling everything. But most people are not getting control of that mind. So he goes on to help us to understand how to do that. And this is what I call mindset. You have to set your mind to become a winner. You have to set your mind to become that thing that you want to become. I think we've all heard it. Um, we become what we think about. We become what we think about. So what are you thinking about? Most people are thinking about lack. Most people are about thinking not having. Most people are thinking they're going to get sick. Most people are thinking they're going to get COVID. Mo and COVID is over. Most people are thinking they're going to lose. And that, that happens. They end up losing. See, the human mind is like a piece of land. I hope you're with me, right? I'm talking mindset. This is the first part. And then I'm going to teach you some strategies to get overcome this. See, the mind is like a piece of land. In a piece of land, you can grow a weed or you can grow a flower. And they all grow beside each other. See, the land doesn't care. And in your mind, you can do the same. 
You can grow that you're going to become healthy, happy, and wealthy, or you can grow that you're going to become a loser, not having, desperate, ill, and losing all the time. Which one do you want to be? But you have to have control. You have to control these thoughts that are coming to you, right? You have to control the negative and become that positive. But how do you do it? How, how do you shift? Like, you, you're not going to just do it every day like that. You know, you, you know, if you talk to Les Brown, if you talk to John Asher, if you talk to the big people, you have to start building habits. One of the things that Bob Proctor taught me to come into this strategy is what we call the power of repetition, right? Constant space repetition. So how do people become positive? How do people start reading books? You don't just start reading 10 books at a time. You start reading 10 pages and then another 10 pages, and another 10 pages. You create this repetition. There's only two ways to learn. Either emotional impact, something happens to you, or constant space repetition. And when we teach mindset and when we help you grow, is we start giving you this information that you go over again and again and again. See, we become what we think about. Science and religion both agree that we become what we think about. So if you can just start saying to yourself, I am the best, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm good, I'm good, I'm a winner, I'm a winner. Wouldn't that feel good? You know, emotion and motion, get into that feeling. When you get into that feeling, the subconscious mind will start giving you what you want. So when the subconscious mind finally gives up, says, God, okay, fine, take it. Like if you tell yourself, I'm going to be the speaker, I'm going to be get that job, I'm going to get that money, you will eventually get it. Now, the key is the resistance that you're going to have. Because as you're growing your mind, as you're growing your skill, everybody around you is dragging you down. And this is what I call the self-sabotage. This is what I call you have to eliminate the sabotage. Not just from yourself. You have to eliminate the sabotage from all around you. All your family members that are negative, all your uncles that are negative, all the, uh, the business that you're negative in, you have to eliminate it. And you have to say, I'm not going to live like that anymore. I'm choosing something else. And you have to start trusting yourself and build this, build this biggest, bigger picture. Now, can you do this alone? Absolutely. Some people do it. It takes them 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. But you can do it faster when you're working in a community like this. You do it faster when you're in a group. That's why teams win the game. Not a single person wins the game. You know, if it's golf, if it's baseball, it's the whole team. Now, there could be one or two champions, really, but it's the team that wins. So you have to find yourself a group that's doing the same thing as you are and start moving in this direction. I was in a, one of the meetings not long ago, three weeks ago, and this uh, mentor, he goes, I can predict your future. Is this magic? He's like, I can predict your future. I said, what do you mean? He goes, tell me the five people that you're hanging around. And that's who you're going to become. And on every level, in the money, in the mindset, in the feeling, on how you look, on how you show up, in time, that's what you're going to become. So if you want to become a bum on the street, that's you go and hang around those guys. And there's nothing wrong with those guys. I love them. You know, I help them every day I can, if I can. But if you want to become somebody else, you have to start doing it. So the self-sabotage, which is the second piece of the mindset, is you say you want to do some things, but you don't do it. And you have to be honest. How many of you have books at home that you haven't read? Every book in here I've read. I only have the ones that I've read. So you go and you buy the book and you think that's going to help you. It ain't going to help you. Just sit, make it sit on the desk. It's not going to do anything. You have to read it and read it and read it. And you have to apply it. And that's what we call study, elite level mentorship, and accountability. So you start becoming that person. He goes, I can predict your future. Tell me the four or five people you hang around. I can tell how much you make, how you're going to look like, who you're going to meet, and what you're doing. But you have, you have to get going, right? You have to habitually change. See, the subconscious mind, and I'm not going to get too much into the, how the mind works today, but we are running on automatic. You know, when you put something in the GPS, you know, you all have a phone, hopefully if you don't, but if you have a phone, you put the GPS, you know, you type the address, and it tells you, make left, make a right, you know, drive 10 miles, whatever. It tells you where to go. Well, your mind is running like this. 95% of what we're doing is running on automatic. So if you want to improve, let's say you're a business person, you want to improve your sales habit, you want to improve your sales closing, how are you going to do it? You have to habitually change. Let's say you make one extra call a day. By the end of the week, that's five more calls. 
that's one more sale, at least if you're closing 20%. By the end of the month, that's four more sales, but you're not going to do it because you're self-sabotaging yourself. You say something and you do something else. So we have a problem, Dr. Real here, is that, that we believe something, we want something, but we do something else. So we have a disconnect in what we call, and this is lesson two, the knowing doing gap. You have a goal to make some money. You have a goal to run the business. You have aspiration. But then, then you don't do it because the self-sabotage is, is keeping you stuck. The mind does not want you to change. It wants you to, it's so scared. We're built on being scared. Like, I don't know about you. When I was growing up, we were told, don't talk to strangers. Don't open the door. You know, don't do this. Don't do this. We, we were told to be scared. Now, so it's not my parents' fault that they did what they did. But it's now my responsibility to wake up. I, I cannot act scared if I want to grow. I cannot act scared if I want to network. You know, so we have to get out there. So the mind is protecting you to keep keeping you where you're at. And the system, what I call the system, now I'm not going to go on to blaming the governments and blaming the world. This is what it is. The system is set up this way so that we can become workers, so that we become like worker bees. And it's okay. But in those worker bees, you can climb to the top. If I did it, you can do it. So you have to eliminate this self-sabotage, this double talk, right? So Earl goes on to say, it's not strange, it's not a secret, but yet it is. But you have to plant this seed in your mind who you want to be. And then you have to care for it. And then you have to steadily keep practicing and repetition and get it so that there is a way to succeed. And this is how it's done. And you build habits that help you grow your income. You build habits that help you grow your, 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 your health. You build habits that help you grow your... Uh, your workout routine, you build habits to help you become a better man, a better woman, a better father, right? And he said, pick one habit and do it for 30 days. So for example, I'm going to share with you a daily routine if you're a business owner that you can use. And if you do this for 30 days, your life is going to be changed for the better. But the only weakness here is that you're probably not going to do it because you have this ego that you know what you're doing you have the self uh, prohibition that says, no, I'm not going to try something new. But here's the thing. You're, you're here and you want to go there, whatever that there is. That could be your $10,000 income and you want to go to a $20,000 income. So the ideas that you have right now are not at this level. They're at this level. So for, for these new things to come to you, you're going to have to get some new ideas. Your current thinking is not going to let you go to the 20,000, 30,000, or the 100,000 because you're at this thinking. See, if you can do it, you would have done it. If we were live in a room right now, I don't see anybody on the screen, but if we are live and I say, would you like to do more? And you'll say, yeah. Would you like to earn more? And you'll say, yeah. And I'll say, why are you not doing it? So this is the example, right? You're here. You have this mind that you want to earn more money, spend more things, buy more stuff. And But you're not going to get there by the current thinking. You need new kind of thinking. You, you need this guidance. You need this manner. You need to hang around those people who are here. It's the easiest way. You know, Andrew Carnegie said, masterminding is the best way to go. Do you mastermind with people who want to help you grow? So each of us wants something, right? Each of us are afraid of something. And, and you, have to, you have to go. You have to uh, do it. So let me, let me go quickly on. So I did the mindset a bit. I did the self-sabotage happen. I'm going to give you a quick routine that would really help you become more intentional every day so that you can start winning. Because if you're a business owner, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're an employee that want to get promoted, if you want a better job, you start doing this, what I'm going to share with you over the next two, three minutes, it's going to change your life. It's also here in the, in the book too, right? So here's what you do. The day before, like the night before, all right? You'll get yourself a piece of paper and I have, you know, the way the schedule is. And you write on that piece of paper, you write your goal. What's your goal? Do you want to earn more money? Uh, and you put the exact number, right? By what date? You're right on it, okay? And then you put right after that, what are the six things that you're going to do tomorrow as soon as you wake up? So I wrote my goal. You can also say it loud because you like to hear yourself speak it. And then you write six things that you're going to do tomorrow. Well, you put them in order. You're going to do one, two, three, four. You, this is the night before, before you, before you sleep, right? And this will be the last thing you look at when you go to sleep. 
Now your mind is going to sleep thinking about these six things. And it's going to go working for you all night. You see, when you sleep, physically you sleep, but your mind is awake. Then as soon as you wake up in the morning, now you have that piece of paper and you're like, Damn, that's my goal. So you read it, you write it again, because I want you to read your goal, write your goal. The more you write it, the more you're telling your subconscious mind, this is what I want. I'm affirming my goal from me to me. It's a self-auto suggestion. It's a beautiful chapter in Think and Grow Rich. And then you already have on the piece of paper, what is it you're going to do? Now I'm talking business actions. I'm talking income generating actions. I'm not talking Kamal needs to do the laundry. Kamal needs to get some grocery shopping. Kamal needs to move. No, none of that stuff. That stuff somebody has to do. You can do it. Assign it to somebody. It's up to you. I'm talking income generating action. That's going to take you from where you are to where you want to go. These are the actions. The second thing is I'm Christian. So I pray four or five minutes. Uh, and I thank God I'm alive. I'm around. You know, I'm good. My kids, my house, everything's fine. The house didn't fly. Right. Then I'm grateful. So I'm grateful for like four, five, six things that I'm really in connection with. Like I'm grateful for, I can go and take a shower right now. I'm grateful for, I have comfortable environment. I'm grateful for the bed that I'm, whatever comes to my mind, four, five, six things that I'm grateful for, right? And then I send love to two or three people that are giving me a hard time. Because, you know, in life, some people are taken away from you. Some people want to drag you down. Some people want to give you a hard time. Some people want to give you pain. I send them love. And you know who they are. This is the routine. And then you get up and you get busy on, on the action. You can go work out first, shower, do your thing. Now, I for some of my clients, we add some meditation, 10, 15 minutes to really visualize your goal. You can do that as well. It's up to you. But uh, we don't want to get too, too much into the weeds. And you get busy working on the six actions that you did the night before. Now, you only do number one first. Once you complete number one, then you go to number two. Once you complete number two, you go to number three. And that's it. This is how you advance. It's called habitual change. Now, sounds easy? Yeah. But it's a new habit. You got to build a new habit. The third thing that I want to tell you on skill set and strategy, we all earn some kind of money. And if you want to earn more, it's not about earning the money. Earning the money is easy. The second part, this is where I got Laura Langmire from the movie The Secret to be on my mentor. Like, what do you do with this money? How do you invest it? How do you make it grow? Like you have to first pay yourself. So you put 15, 20, 30% on the side to pay yourself. And this money that's being, and the rest is going to be spent on expenses and things. But this 20, 10, 20, 30, 40%, let's say 30%. How are you going to invest it? You can't just put it to the stock market and hope it's going to work. You can't just put it to your RSPs and hope, oh, maybe one day I'll make some retirement money. You have to learn how to do it. And this is where people invest it in real estate and real assets. I'm a kind of guy that I don't give my money to anybody unless I know what they're doing. I like physical assets. So I, I don't like Bitcoin and Digicoin. And I go with like physical house. If I'm going to put my money, I want to go and I want to see this house that is going in. That's what I go with. You could do whatever you want. And there's a lot of people out there that are fake. So you got to be careful what, where to invest your money. And that's why I joined a real community with Laurel, where we have different investment strategies. There's apartments, there's buildings, there's containers, there's land, there's uh, farms, real places. And you get to go and see them. You basically have to take control of your money. Most people, sadly, they have some kind of retirement plan in North America. And they have no idea what's going to happen. One day is up, one day is down, one day is up. One day. And one day is 20% up, another day is negative 10. Whereas when you do like some physical asset like I'm talking about, it's more regular, it's more real. You know, you get 7%, 8%, maybe 20%, but it's real. It's a physical building. It's not going anywhere. That's what I like to do. So you have to get the skill set and strategy. You got to invest your money to make it grow. And then... The last part, as I work with the CEOs and managers, is how to become a leader. Because, you know, if you want to become a multimillionaire, you have to grow a team. You have to learn how to lead. And first, you have to lead yourself. And then you start learning how to lead a team. So let's review this, this to be exceptional, to really be, get part of that 5%, right? You have to start controlling your thinking. 
And that's the most difficult part, actually. All the, everything I talked about is easy, but that's the hardest part. And then you control your thinking, you control that image, right? Who do you, you want to be a speaker like Les Brown? Do you want to be an entrepreneur like, uh, you know, somebody big online, whoever, whoever is your famous thing, right? You got to think positive. You got to move in this direction. You got to refuse to be defeated. And even if you fall, and even if you do the mistake, you don't give yourself this hard time. You just get back up. And this is what I mean. Doing it by yourself is hard. I got way more successful when I started masterminding. I got way more successful after having five degrees by getting Bob Proctor to make me the best in the world. So when you invest in somebody to help you, go to somebody that's doing what exactly you want to do. Don't go to, to nobody. If you go to the barber next to your house, he, he or she is nobody. Now, they are somebody. But they're not the one that know about real estate. They're not the one that know about writing a book. They're not the one that whatever this thing that you want to do. So find the best person that's doing what you want to do that you can afford and go to them. Right? And be real with them. Like have this conversation. Get to feel, get to trust yourself. Get intentional with them. Like I can feel Dr. Real's energy, right? You can tell how good she is. So you have to get real with the people that are going to mentor you and coach you. That's what you want to do. And... um Start paying yourself. Most people are spending more than what they're making. It's such a simple mistake. You can't spend what you don't have. It's not your money. Just because you have a credit card, just because you have, there's a bank that can give you a loan, just because you can go to the cash machine and get money at 20, 30% interest, it's ridiculous. You got to wake up. You got to shake your head. It doesn't, it's, it's not a high education. It's, it's waking up. Spend less than what you make and pay yourself first and take that money and invest it in something real. And we can teach you all that. Like you can learn how to do that. And the last thing is, you got to take action. So many of you are just dreaming, wishing, and hoping that Santa's coming to save you. One day, it will happen to me. One day, I'll write the book. One day, I'll become somebody. Mm -mm. This is the day. Today. You got to make up your mind now. You have to take action on the information that you're receiving right now. If you don't take action after this conversation today, excuse my language, you're bullshitting yourself. So what you have to stop collecting information. We already know everything. We are whole. We are an extension of spirit. So we already know everything. We just got to get the information out of you. We just got to get you to do. So you got to start taking action. And it doesn't need to be perfect action. You're here and you want to go there. I want to go back to that example. It's not going to be a direct straight line. It's going to go up. You're going to take an action. We live in a law in a cause and effect universe. You take an action, good action, you get good results. Bad action, bad results. But it's okay. As long as I know my goal and I'm good with it and I have a little plan and I'm getting the best help that I can, I'm going to get closer to it. These six actions I told, I'm going to get closer. Now, I might go back with my action, but I know where I'm going. Don't so many people will sit down and don't take any action. They think it's going to happen by itself. It ain't going to happen. Nobody, I've been in this house. We, we moved two and a half years ago. Nobody's coming with a paycheck to the door and say, come on, here's a check. Here, take this money. Nobody comes. I've been waiting. Nobody comes. I mean, if they come to your house, I'm moving there. Right? Nobody comes. So you have to do service to get money. So take action. Become man or woman of service. Find a problem that you can solve, get really good at it. That's why I call skill set and strategy. You got to become good. What do you want to be known for? What, what are you good at? I'm good at putting people to get the right mindset, getting them to build a team, getting them to move into action from being idle. Because you're dreaming too much. And yeah, it's good to dream. It's good to watch movies, but you got to get serious, right? Most people are wishing and hoping. And that's why he calls it the strangest secret. It's not strange, but yet it's a secret. You know, it's not a secret. Everything is already here. So this, this, is, this is what I have for you today. Uh, I, I, I hope you know, this inspires you to move in a different direction. That is not over until you know, it's over. It doesn't matter what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter what happened last year. It's gone. We cannot work with yesterday. We cannot even work with tomorrow. Some of you are afraid, right? and worried and no forget that we don't have tomorrow 
We don't have, we don't have, we don't have next year. We don't have, we don't have Christmas. It's coming for me, but it's not here. I only have today. So most people are afraid, you know, worry, doubt, and fear because they're imagining all these different scenarios. No, imagine good. Control your mind. So we go back to this mindset thing. Let's set your mind to where you want to be. Let's get you to eliminate this negativity in your life. Become, join a community that is doing something better and bigger that you want to be part of. Build a ridiculous skill set and start telling the universe what you want. It's going to give you what you want. It's going to say, hey, take it. Enough, you know. Enough. Here, take it. Take the money. Take the clients. Take the success. And you will get success. So you seek success and you'll get success. And if you seek nothing, you're going to get nothing. Don't be scared. You know, get out there. Whatever it is that you're going to solve. You know, if you're fixing homes, if you're, I don't know, in some kind of selling a product, selling a service, becoming the best employee ever, right? Some people are saying, how come I don't get more money? Well, you're not going to get more money unless you do more than what you're paid for. They're waiting to get more money, but they're not willing to do more. No, you have to do more first. Once you do more and become more productive, then you're going to get paid more. It's not the other way around. So you have to be, you have to do, you have to become. That's why on one of my websites, I say, be more, do more, become more, right? You know, be more first. You cannot want and have at the same time. Let's get you to be it first. You know, and then we go to the I am principles with some of my private clients. You have to be that thing that you want to be. You be it. And guess what? How do you think I attracted Les Brown into my life? How do you think I attracted John Astrup into my life? John Martini, Laura Langmire. So you, you can start allowing and having this law of attraction, law of vibration help you do what you want. I don't need to know how. We let the how go. We just have to endeavor in this direction. And then the right people would come at the right time to help you achieve what you want to achieve. And I go back to the beginning. It starts with a, with a deep desire want. What makes you happy? What makes you smile? What makes you feel satisfied? What makes you feel that you've accomplished it? And I remember that meeting with Bob. He goes, once you fall in love with what you're doing, You'll never work another day in your life. Once you fall in love with what you're doing, you'll never work another day in your life. So let's help you find that out. Let's help you get this purpose and vision and goal, which is, is going to be one of the things that I you know, give away for everybody that wants it anyways. And um, become that individual. You know, Start having that magic, right? Start having that, that spark, that life, right? That, that's kind of what I had in mind, Dr. Real. Uh, we can take questions or if you have questions, you know. Goodness, Kamal, just drop the mic. Just drop the mic. Like uh, I was just taking notes when you got started. You started with the mindset, which is the control of everything that we do. You've said, you've said that your mind, your mind controls everything. And that is so true. And you've also mentioned that, you, you know, uh, I'm a firm believer of affirmations, by the way. You've said that mm -hmm. we should affirm it, that I am this, I am the best, yeah. I am going to get this. The moment you say it, the universe, it accepts it. And yes. it I just love that. I, just I love it because when you say it enough times, your subconscious has to take it. Initially, you don't believe it. That's why it's not taking it. But once you submit that idea and you say, I want that $1,000, I want that $1,000, I want that $10,000, it's going to say, Dr. Real, take it. Here it is. Enough. Here it is. Go get this thing. You know, go get this house. Go get this car. It will give up. It is, uh, it's like your slave. Your subconscious mind is your slave. But it's been programmed with all the things that you don't want. It's been programmed since an early childhood. By the time you're seven, eight years old, you're programmed already with what your mom and dad thought, with what your environment thought, with what uh, you were told as you can or cannot do, or money is for the rich and money grows on trees and da, 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 all that bad stuff. Yeah. So I had to get rid of all that. Wow. Right? So... Yeah. You can feed your mind anything you want. Repetition over and over and over and over again. Wow. So good. Wow. Yeah, that, that is really, really powerful because um, the moment you, uh, like Bob Proctor always say that, shift your paradigm. So the moment you shift that, 
you become exactly what you've just told your mind that I just want to be this and the way you are just explaining it. But you've also mentioned that uh, in order for us to progress in life, we'll have to eliminate self-sabotage because hmm. we put the limitations on ourselves. We procrastinate on things. Uh, you've mentioned that I'm going to write the book. I'm going to start doing this tomorrow, next week, the other week. You end up not doing it. You end up not doing it. And you've also mentioned that we should also apply some skill set and some strategy in order for us like uh, to reach that greatness, apply yeah. this, start controlling your thinking. And um, that the one thing that I like the most that took me actually far in life is investing. Invest, mm -hmm. I started investing uh, with uh, Les Brown. I invested on his training so that I can nice. become just exactly like what he's doing. I invested on Bob Proctor the way you did, just like what he's doing and look at you thinking into results exactly what yeah, Bob Proctor I mean. told us uh, how we can do it and you are doing it and uh, it's changing uh, the whole world. Wow, wow. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. So to thank, our audience online, you. really, if you want to be that wealthy and a successful individual, but it's not happening at the moment, maybe you're feeling like you're so stressed, you are depressed, Kamal is the right person. He's the right person to help you overcome this and you will start to show up more confident. So good people, go out there and reach out to Kamal. You see his website is www. Uh, a s k e l r a s i dot com. Reach out to Kamal, and uh, he's gonna be your accountability partner because you need someone like him. Thank you so much, Kamal. Thank you so much for your profound message. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you all so much, and thanks for mentioning the website. Yeah, I mean, I really want to help you all really become that better version of yourselves. I want you to know that if I can do this, you can do this. You know, if I can do this, you can do this, and you are the only ones holding ourselves back, right? So let's just drop the negativity, drop the lack, drop this thing that I say, I can't. No, you can. It's not, I don't have the money. I'll find the money. It's not tomorrow. It's today. Like, so this is how we're going to shift you, right? It's, 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 it doesn't need to take long, right? It doesn't need to take long. Let's, let's get you dancing. Let's get you excited. Let's get you, uh, like, I call it awaken, right? I'm going to wake you up. Boom, and suddenly you get the first goal. Suddenly you have the second goal, the third goal. And you know what? Life is good after that, you know? Let's get you some skill set. Like people say, I'm not good in selling. No, you are good in selling. Let's get you better in selling, right? Selling is income. You, you are a good salesman, but you're just thinking negatively about it. Let's move you there. So, yeah, uh, anybody that reaches out, you know, will get a couple of articles from me. And the website is there. I want to thank you for the time. I want to thank you for listening. Uh, love what you're doing and uh, let's make the world a better place. Let's put a dent in the universe, okay? Let's put yes. a dent. In yeah, we've got this. We've got this. We are about to do it. I'm just reading it. I'm just uh, looking at the comments on our Facebook. Sure, uh, yeah, I take it see Boo -boo, Boo -boo. She's saying, wow, like at the expression, like, wow, of which means you dropped something that she really needed. And Princess is saying that skill set and strategy, and she's just raising her hand. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. And uh, Pastor Musa, he's saying that powerful. This is so powerful. I can see Anna Lee. I can see Benoit watching. And Mariah is saying that thinking into results, of which means Yes, we are definitely thinking into results, all of us here. And I can see Kala Goodwill watching and Princess is just giving us all the all the loves, all the fire oh, that we just need. So to our audience online, please feel free if you have any questions for Kamal, he's right here. Please just drop your questions uh, in the chat box and then we're going to attend to your questions at the end of the podcast because... You need a you need a you need a Kamal in your life. You need Kamal in your life. So um, thank you so much, Kamal. I'm gonna thank you. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be the next speaker. But before I speak, uh, it's not gonna be a show without me showing up. So I'm gonna play my bio and then I will come okay. back and speak. Love that. <laughs> yeah, so please enjoy. <coughs> I want you, as you think about your dreams and goals, to put this down. Rise to greater heights. Rise to greater heights. Because you need to be clear about, about your career goals in order for you to gain guidance on professional development. Really, my goal as a mentor or, or, or as a coach is so simple. My goal is to study your current situation, identify limiting beliefs and other potential obstacles that you might be facing. 
and then design a plan of inspired action to empower you to pursue uh, success and drive sustainable. I think whosoever said that the sky is the limit was wrong. From today on, I, Dr. Riel and Kunene, believe that the sky is our point of view. Which mom. So I think whosoever said that the sky is the, the limit was wrong. From today on, I, Dr. Riel and Kunene, believe that the sky is our point of view. So let's all rise to greater heights. of you so let's all rise to greater heights rise to greater heights dr nam pumalelo real kunene is an international human rights policy analyst who consults on policies and procedures related to human rights compliance she is a highly sought after energetic certified Lace Brown international speaker. This passionate leader holds a PhD with a discipline in leadership and business. Dr. Rial N. Kunene is the author and host to Rise to Greater Heights, a book and YouTube channel to turn your fears into greater success while seizing new opportunities. She is also a coach, mentor, and an MC well known for encouraging many to rise from mediocrity into greatness. Her vision is not only to motivate, but also to empower audiences with a fresh perspective inspiration they require to pursue success and drive sustainable outcomes. In a seriously funny way, Dr. Kunene is an award-winning author. 10 times number one Amazon and international best-selling author, her number one best-selling book, Rise to Greater Heights, has inspired and empowered many to pursue through their personal and professional passion to become go-getters. As a trainer, diplomacy protocol officer, and strategist, Rial believes that we are in full control of our choices. Her mission is to meet the needs and transform lives of her clients and her audience. She is also a true advocate for creating new policies that uphold human rights and prevent human rights violations. Dr. Kunene's purpose is to teach everyone about human rights and help organizations understand and promote human rights. Her goal is to study your current situation, identify limiting beliefs, then design a plan of inspired action to empower you to achieve specific outcomes in your life. This change maker, trailblazer, and revolutionary is pushing boundaries and creating a real change worldwide. Like a phoenix that never accepted defeat and rose from its own ashes, she wants to challenge you to unleash your greatness and rise to greater heights. Dr. Rial N. Kunene wears many hats. As a professional certified sales manager, CEO, certified travel counselor, publisher, medical aesthetician, philanthropist, and a commissioner for oaths, following her dreams gave her purpose to see her goals through and understand that she does have everything she needs to reach her full potential. Her everyday message is that your journey to be a better person starts with you. So knowing who you are to your core will make you understand that you are the only one who can accomplish your dreams. Hebrews 11, Psalms 27 and 40 keeps her to rise to greater heights. The sky is no longer the limit, but now the sky is our point of view. So let's all rise to greater heights. Kings and queens, please join me. Welcome, Dr. Rial N. Kunene. Once again, thank you, thank you so much, Kamal, for sharing your wisdom on this platform, sharing more nuggets, really, you've started with the mindset, which is my everyday thing that we should deal with our mindset before anything else in life. And you've also shared the, the amazing, amazing skill set and strategy for greatness mm -hmm. that you should start doing this, start doing that, start affirming, uh, affirming it that, you know what? I've got this, I've got the whole world around me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share more nuggets on actually following your passion. You love to follow your passion in everything that you do in life. Uh, so you love to ask yourself, what's really holding me back? What's holding me back from taking the baby steps into following my passion? What's holding me back taking the baby steps in the right direction? Is it fear? Is it procrastination? Is it distraction? Is it uh, settling for that mediocre life? What's 
holding you back or maybe procrastination, which was holding me back way then, like uh, I will keep on postponing that I will do this tomorrow the way Kamala was saying it and I will never, ever, ever do it. So I, I understand that there are many reasons why people don't, don't reach their dreams, but you'll have to understand exactly the issues that keep you away from achieving your potential success. It's good to know what is keeping you away from your dreams as you can, you know, you can try uh, to change the way you approach them. So what's holding you back from going confident in the direction of, you, of your dreams? Kings and Queens, it's so essential to assess your goals progress. It's so essential. Once you, you identify the reasons why you are being held back from reaching your goals, you can then try and work on it and improve. The good thing is that you can always conquer the motives if you recognize them. So being here, it shows that you are not willing to settle for that mediocre life. So don't let anyone, anyone else stand in the way of your dreams. You really don't have to see the whole staircase in life to get to the top, but you need to take the first step to get to the top. As my mentor always say that you don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to become great in life. So mm. many people, they know what their passion is but they are kind of frustrated by the process of trying to turn their passion into profit. Whether you're running your own company, maybe you're starting a business, or maybe you're seeking that next promotion at work, you'll have to ask yourself this question in order for you to increase the financial rewards of doing what you love. What difference am I passionate about in making in others' lives? Notice I didn't ask you, what are you passionate about? Because you are going to just jump in and tell me exactly I'm passionate about this. Instead, I just want you to determine the purpose of your passion, which is uh, using it uh, to positively impact the world. So that kind of drive, it attracts opportunities that often leads to raises, job offers, as well as uh, like new business. So in order for you to turn your passion into profit, you must fulfill a purpose that others need or want. Whether you focus on your, when you focus on your passion, then you'll have to find a way to allow your passion to impact others. In that way, trust me, you will have a winning, winning formula. It's a wake up call, good people. Kamal has shared everything, started from mindset, skill set, and strategy. He shared more nuggets on how you can, how we are all destined for greatness and how you can actually unleash that greatness within you. So it's a wake up call. But when that alarm clock goes off, please, please, please don't ever hit the snooze button. Don't be like, I will wake up in the next two minutes. I will wake up in the next four minutes. You know what? Forever is a long time. Why don't you wake up, get going and uh, unleash that greatness within you because you've been destined for greatness. We are all destined for, great, for greatness. The only thing that you need to do is just unleash it unleash that greatness we within you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to provide you with the eight secrets that I've actually used uh, to turn my passion into profit. So if you follow the same system that I've used to build an income generating business, just doing what I truly love and what I'm passionate about, trust me, you will be on your way to success. So one thing that you'll have to understand, you'll have to understand that you can't give from an empty cup. Yes, you want to change the world, but can you change the world from an empty cup? There is no other way than filling your own cup first. And then from the overflow, that's when you, you can share with the world, but you can't give from an empty cup. So just fill your cup first with all the nuggets that we're going to share on this platform in order for you to impact the world around you. So if you can, please, please write it down, write it down. So I'm going to share the eight steps um, that I've actually used to turn my passion, um, uh, my passion to profit in no time. So point number one, you'll have to dream big, but start small. Yes, you are allowed to dream big. If you want to be a, a trillionaire, dream, uh, imagine yourself being that trillionaire, but are you going to start as a trillionaire when you're starting in life? No. Dream big, but start small. So in the early, stay, in the early days of, your, of launching your own business, you are still in the learning stages. So you need to test the waters first if whatsoever you're going to do is, uh, is going to be scalable. So dream big, but start small. Take those baby steps in the right direction. Point number two, you'll have to write about your interests. 
yes, right about your interest, right about whatsoever you are passionate about, because this is one of the simplest ways to go from just doing what you love to profiting from it to write about it. So if you can, if you can, please write that book that you, you, you dreamt of writing it like maybe 10 years ago, but that book has not yet been published yet. So write about it and then take it, take it one day at a time and publish that book. Point number two, you'll have to become an expert speaker. Yes, become a public speaker, motivational speaker, whatsoever you are passionate about, just become that. So this is another way to turn uh, your passion into profit by becoming a public speaker. Invest in training. Uh, we have Les Brown, we have many motivational speakers that you can learn from who can actually put you where you want to be, invest in that and become a public speaker. Point number three, uh, point number four, you have to create a product, you have to create a community, perhaps you can create a course, yes. So to turn your passion into profit, you can create a product. And uh, social media these days, it's so easy to also create like a community, a community where you can build each other. <clears throat> a community where you can learn from one another. A community, um, this uh, building a community is another excellent way to profit from your passion because from that community, you will start get to connect with the right people who will take you to your destination. So in that way, you're gonna turn your passion into profit. And um, now it's easier than before just to create a course, publish that course and sell that course and make money from what uh, that course that you're selling. So create, 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 create community, create um, uh, a course or a product if you can. And then point number five, if you, if you can please write it down, you'll have to become a coach or a consultant. Yes, become a coach or a consultant. If you're wondering how to monetize your passion and love being a leader and helping others consider becoming a coach, or a consultant on the subject that you are passionate about. So get proper training uh, as a coach, get, get proper training as a consultant and get started. And then point number six, in the interest of time, I'm, I'm trying to put everything together. Point number six, start making YouTube videos. Yes, uh, do those lives even on Facebook, start making those uh, videos because uh, with these videos, actually they are just boosting your confidence. I know, Many, including myself, I was like camera shy each and every time when I think of the camera, I'm like, oh my goodness, the whole world will be watching over me. So uh, thanks to the internet these days, because turning your passion into profit is a lot easier than it was like 30 years ago. So if you can, by the end of this uh, uh, live streaming, go on YouTube, create your, your own YouTube channel and start posting that one video you will see you will see the magic and you will see how many views you're gonna get by just posting one video and um, many people will be reaching out to you like how can i do this because you're sharing your passion to the world and in that way it draws uh, the right people into your life and then point number seven, you'll have to network, network, yes, network. So believe it or not, but networking, it can be a great way to profit from your interest because you're going to meet different individuals who are interested in whatsoever you are offering. So go out there, search for events happening around your area and network with like-minded individuals. And then the last point, which is uh, what we're doing today, we're hosting an event. It's a virtual event. You can also host a uh, an in-person event, seminar, webinars, host that event. You could consider hosting an event around the, whichever topic you are interested in. So in that way, you draw the right people into that event that you are hosting. So if you are not that uh, a kind of a, a go-getter for in-person event, just do it online. Start with the online one, you build your platform and then you draw them to your in-person event. So yes, if you wanna learn more about how to actually get started as a speaker, as an author, as a coach, consultant, or a podcast host, right? Really, just visit my website at www.risetogreaterheights.com. And by the way, I offer training on everything that I've mentioned today. So go out there and uh, check it out. Check it out. As flight attendants always say that, put on your oxygen mask first before you go out there and help the person who is sitting next to you. Because if you don't, you and the other person, when that flight goes down, you and the other person that you are trying to help 
could possibly go down. So put on that oxygen mask first to yourself before you help your neighbor, uh, because the reality is your journey to be a better person. It doesn't start with that neighbor. It's that it doesn't start with your spouse. It doesn't start with your children, but your journey to be a better person, it starts with you. So knowing who you are to your core, it will make you understand that you have everything around you to reach to your full potential. So don't ever, ever give up on your heart's desires. Just recall this, just in case you can't find a way for that moment. You can have the drive within you to become what you really want in life. You know, like I've mentioned that I am a firm believer, Kamala, I'm, I'm a firm believer of affirmation. So we're going to affirm this together. We're going to uh -huh. affirm this too with our audience that uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you to put your, your, which hand is this? Your left hand on your chest. And uh -huh. then you're going to raise your right hand, your, oh, your okay. hand on your chest and raise your right hand and say that I can have the drive within me. I can help the tribe within me to become what I really want in life. To become what I really want in life. Can you say it one more time as if you have faith in your own powerful voice? And guess what? It will echo throughout the whole universe. Say, I can have the tribe within me. I can have the tribe within me to become what I really want in life. To become what I really want in life. Just give yourself a round of applause because you can have the drive within you. No one else has the drive but accept you that you can become what you really want in the next six months, in the next 12 months. The drive is just inside of you. You know, it's so funny how my mom and dad gave me this beautiful, beautiful name. Nompumelelo. I know many when they try to say my name, they always butcher my name, but Nompumelelo really, Nompumelelo in my own language, it means mother of all success. So wow. you can see mm. that I am really, really challenged to, ch to chase after success, no matter what comes my way, I'll have to chase after success. So if I may ask you, how many of you have dreams and goals that you want to achieve? Maybe let me say in the next six months. I know myself, I am one of those. So I want you, as you think about your dreams and goals to put this down, rise to greater heights, rise to greater heights, because you need to be clear about your career goals in order for you to gain guidance on a professional development. As a mentor or as a coach, like uh, many of us here, like me and Kamal, we are both in that, in that field. So as a mentor or as a coach, my goal is so simple. My goal is to study your current situation, identify limiting beliefs and other poten potential obstacles that you might be facing, and then design a plan of inspired actions to empower you to achieve specific outcomes in your life. That's my only goal. As long as I see movement, as long as, as I see growth, I know I've achieved that. So I so wish that you can just tell yourself that, you know what, I've had enough. Today, I'm gonna take that step. Today, like Kamal, he mentioned that, it's all about the mindset. Once you believe, you become. Mm -hmm. So change that. Change like from today onwards, take that step, apply it. The, those skill set that he has shared on, on this platform, the strategies or, or, on how you can actually unleash your greatness, apply it to your life. I so wish that you can just tell yourself that, you know what? Today, I'm going to make that difference. Today, I'm going to take that first baby step in the right direction. But in order for you to make that difference in your, in your life, to make that difference in your community, you've got to be hungry. You've got to be hungry like the hungry lion in the jungle. Really, that hungry lion in the jungle, it doesn't matter what kind of animal comes his way. It doesn't matter if you're that giant elephant or that small squirrel by the jungle. All that hungry lion sees in front of his face is lunch. And it's so funny, though, because even with elephants, when they see a lion, what they do is that they run. It's all mm -hmm. about the mindset. Once you believe, you become. They already told themselves that, you know what, I am a lunch to that lion. So each and every time when I see a lion, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to run. I believe that's the lion mindset that we need in order for us to make a difference and be the change that we want to see in this world. Because uh, with, with the lion, really, it's not the biggest animal in the jungle but it's just the mindset that, you know what? I am the king of the jungle. So we are the kings and queens of our destiny. So if you can just have that mindset, we can go far in life. You know, it's so funny. When I was, um, when I was in the eighth grade, when I was in the eighth grade, I was nicknamed Phoenix. I was mm, nicknamed wow. Phoenix after mm. writing a composition using the idiomatic expression that says, um, 
I rose from the ashes like a phoenix bird, meaning I became successful again. So really that English teacher, she didn't know that the nickname Phoenix, it resonates with me and it also aligns with my destiny. So for those of you who don't know the Phoenix bird, the Phoenix is a Greek mythological bird believed uh, to rise from its own ashes after being buried like uh, hundreds of years ago. This immortal creature acquires new life by rising from the ashes of its own ancestor, which represents our capacity for vision and success. So I want to encourage you, if you're watching and listening under my voice today, that when your world comes crashing down, weigh your scars to show how your phoenix feels like to die from inside and trust in your own capability to rise from your own ashes since the phoenix has to die experience pain burn before resurrection from its own ashes please write this down write this down in conclusion resilience to greatness resilience to greatness and i know you've had this before that your setback is your setup for your comeback your setback is your setup for your comeback. So if I can be honest with you, I don't know what goals you've set for the next six months. And I don't know what dreams you have for your own future. But here is one thing I know about you. You are destined for greatness. Inside of you, God has put seeds of excellence. Those seeds are supposed to grow and flourish. But many people have become crippled by their past encounters. And some have stepped over other people to get to the top. But I believe that uh, with God, we are all destined for greatness as long as we follow his strategy. This is when the, uh, the growth commences because discovering your gift and following God's idea, it will make you understand that you have everything around you to reach to your full potential. My everyday inspiration, Mr. Les Brown, he once said, if you had to die today, at this very moment, at this hour, what dreams, what ideas, what visions, what goals, what skills, what talents, and what books will die with you? And the late Dr. Miles Mondro continued saying that the richest place on this planet is the cemetery, because that's where all the goals, all the visions, all the skills, all the talents, and all the uh, dreams have been buried. Honestly, I don't know about you, but with me listening to all these amazing messages, it just gave me sleepless nights. And I remember it very well when I started writing my first book, Rise to Greater Heights. And uh, now I lost the count when I got to 10. Because uh, I told myself that, you know what, I have everything around me to reach to my full potential. So I better get started and rise to greater heights. And uh, this year, I'm also determined to rise to greater heights with as many, as many motivated uh, professionals as I can. Those who wants to start, grow and scale their businesses. Perhaps you just want to, you know, write and publish that number one bestseller book within 90 days. Trust me, I'll be your go-to girl. So I offer a no obligation 30 minute friendly Zoom consultation call, which will allow me to find out more about the issues that you are experiencing and see if you are a perfect fit for any of my programs that I offer because I don't work with everyone, but I just work with specific individuals who are just as uh, go-getters, as determined, as uh, motivated as um, uh, they can be. So if you're interested in becoming that public speaker, that author, coach, and or maybe you just want to, uh, you are that entrepreneur who wants to multiply your income by, by doing what you truly love and uh, making a real impact out there, I want to empower you to become a highly effective and an inspiring leader with a kind of personalized, measure, measurable, but a scalable program. So go on my website and book that consultation call at www.risetogreaterheights.com. And yes, everything I do, trust me, it comes with a guarantee. So if I promise this, you're, gonna, you, you're definitely going to get it. You're going to get exactly what I promised and uh, it's 100% money back guarantee. So if it doesn't work for you, but I doubt if, it, if it's not going to work for you because it worked for me what I'm offering. Because my ultimate goal is that you feel extremely confident about your purpose. That's my ultimate goal. So we will take it one step at a time and you are definitely going to transform. So if you give me your why, I'll show you the how. How cool is that? You give me your why, I show you the how, because this consultation, it offers accountability, education, growth, as well as uh, success. And you might have to ask, why am I doing this? Why now, really? I know how it feels like, you know, I've been there, I've done that. You know, five years ago, I wasn't just this person. I was kind of completely lost in the hustle. I was overwhelmed. I was uh, uh, exhausted. 
I, I remember I had a ton of ideas, but there was no tried and true strategy that would run with my ideas. So it was only when I invested in coaching. And then that was when I created my uh, first premium offer. And then I started to see change in my business. I built an income generating business, just doing what I truly love and what I'm passionate about. So now it's your turn to build your wealth. We are all here for you because the power is inside of you. Because you know what, growing up, I didn't have much in life because my father, my father decided to have an, an early departure from this planet Earth. And I thank God that I missed that flight because I'm still here. I'm still sharing my message. I'm still trying to impact as many lives as much as I can because I had my mama's love. I've got everything because of my mama's love. And I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you so much, mom. So I think whosoever said that the sky is the limit was wrong. Yes, I think so. Because uh, from today on, I, Dr. Riel and Gunene, believe that the sky is our point of view. So let's all rise to greater heights. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kamal. At wow. this moment, uh, please, please feel free to share with the audience your final thoughts, how they can reach out to you, how they can work with you, any freebie that you want to offer to the audience. The stage is yours, sir. Oh my God, it's so good. I love what you shared. Love the eight points. I love what you're helping people with. It's just so incredible. And you know, that part where you got to be hungry and you got to show up. So, so yeah, just three things. Like I know how it feels like it's, it's totally wrong out there to be working hard and being frustrated. And I get it because I've been there. And once I started raising my hand and asking for help from coaches and mentors and guides like Dr. Real here, and you know, I got Bob Proctor and Laura, things started to change, things started to move. And I want to give you this idea that if it's in your mind, if, if you're desiring it, the moment, the moment it's there and you can see yourself with this house, with this business, it's yours. It's yours for the having. You just have to start showing up like it. And that's what we're going to help you do. You know, when Bob Proctor told me, write your goals in a piece of paper and put it in your pocket, I didn't believe it too. I thought it was like, what, is he crazy? What is this? Three out of the four goals have happened. So if I can do this, you can do this. But, but it's totally wrong to be like depressed and sad and feeling like miserable and running out of oxygen and drowning. Like, let somebody help you. Like, get to this community, right? We, we're not going to get rich by doing things. We get rich by doing things in a certain way. Wallace Walls. We get rich by doing things a certain way. Uh, Dr. Yao is going to help you figure, you know, you've come with your why, you know, what is it you want to do? What is it you want to fall in love with? She's going to show you the how. How cool is that, right? So we really want you to have that belief. We want you to have this attitude that you can do it too. It's not just for the people out there. And uh, just reach out. We'll, we'll love to help you. So here's the gift. Everybody will get purpose, vision, and goals article that is just phenomenal. And for those who book appointment, they'll get the article and the audio of it. It is incredible. And maybe even a video, two hours on it, purpose, vision, and goal. So you can really see where is it you want to go? How big is your vision? How big is your goal? Too many are confused. Let's get you clarity, all right? Uh, the way to get a hold of me, basically my website is the easiest. Ask El Rassi, A S K E L R A S S I dot com. Ask El Rassi dot com. Once you get there, there's going to be a lot of content for you to play with, learn. There's a 30-day free course, 30 days where you get my best content that I'm putting out there out of this book. This is my own videos that you're going to start receiving. Now, again, if you do nothing with it, nothing will happen. But if you actually study it, something will start happening, right? So, and book a consultation. And I'd love to work with you if you are ready to like move, if you're ready to start becoming the man or the woman who you want to be. I'm pretty much on all channels, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook. So I would love to help you. And remember, let's help you fall in love with that idea. And then you never work another day in your life. Wow. Wow. Let's help you fall in love with that idea. And you will never, ever work any day of your life. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is mind blowing. This is mind blowing. Because like you've said that it, it's so funny how the educational system prepare it, it prepares us to be employees instead of like mm -hmm. the ones 
uh, providing those opportunities. So we we'll have to change. We we'll have to change the narrative now. It's high time we share those ideas. So good people, go out there, reach out to Kamal and uh, visit his website. You're gonna get a lot. Like you're gonna get a lot from that website that can help you more, especially the 30 days challenge that he's offering. Like 30 mm -hmm. days, not three days. So think about 30. that. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much, Kamal. Uh, definitely, I believe our audience will definitely reach out to you. So thank you. Thank you so much. And we really appreciate, we honor your presence on this platform. I know you are a busy man, but you've decided like to spare that 90 minutes to be on this platform. So we don't take um, this time with you here for granted. I know you, you had thank to you spare me. some time from your busy schedule. So we appreciate it. Well, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you to your Kamal. Thank you. Thank you so much doing an amazing job. And you know, the, 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 the record shows who you're helping, who you're becoming and how you're growing and the gift that you have. And, and that's that treasure. That's the treasure, right? That's what it is. You have this gift and people are gonna become more and they're gonna do more and you know, they're gonna have more now. Let's let's uh, let's help more people out there and put a dent in the universe. So it's 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 so cool. I'm grateful for uh, all of you. I'm grateful for all of you. If you actually do get the book, if you actually do send the message and say, yeah, you know, I need the help. Like I said, I had five degrees when I started asking for help. So just ask for the help. It's okay. Forget yesterday. So yeah. so good to be here. And uh, it's it's on you right now, right? It's, it's on you, the listener, to actually step into this greatness. There's no more blaming your mom and dad and your home and your country. And, you know, that what happened, happened. Now you become that responsible. You start embodying this. And, you know, I, I like what you said. Have big goals, but let's get you taking small steps. First step could be schedule time. First step could be let's get this paper, purpose, vision, and goal. What is my purpose? Why am I here? You know, let's read this five pages. You know, let's get you moving. I remember in a session with Tony Robbins, he said, never leave a site of a place without taking an action. Like, mm -hmm. you, you got to take the action. Yeah. yeah. The, the laws are like this. This cause and effect universe that we live in. You take action and then you get something back. So I'm grateful that I'm on this journey. It's amazing. It's incredible. It's done so much for me, my family, my kids, my two daughters, my wife, all the things that we have. And grateful for the connections like yourself, Dr. Real, and so many others uh, that are really doing the world a great service you know like mr les brown he's incredible right he's just amazing so yeah. that's it that's it thank you all very much uh it'll be a pleasure to speak with any of you who reach out and i sincerely want the best for every one of you you know there's more room at the top okay i'm gonna just be the last thing there is more room at the top don't be in the 60s 40 50 78 let's get you to that five percent there's more room at the top yeah and the view is incredible it's like being on a mountain like you see everything right in the world there's more room at the top yes we'll see you all at the top i love that <laughs> i love that like les brown always say that life is like an elevator the more you go higher the more you offload people that's the reason why there is more room at the top thank you thank you so much come on <laughs> i believe we're gonna we're gonna be here for the rest of the day so we appreciate all right. you <laughs> so good thank you so much pleasure yeah. and have an amazing friday have an amazing labor day weekend if you celebrate the holiday be yes. safe be awesome eat and drink responsibly and you know have fun with it all right yes 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 thank you so much and to our audience in line thank you thank you so much for joining us here at rise to greater heights network where you can turn your fears into greater success while seizing new opportunities. I hope from all these amazing messages, you've been inspired, you've been motivated, and you are ready to rise to greater heights. So do join us next week at the same time, same place. Thank you. Merci. Sia Bonga. Merci. Let him laugh, let him weep, let him yell, let him sad. Only one must say. Let him lay me traps and men to pray to Jehovah me, I pray. Let him laugh, let him weep, let him yell, let him sad. Only one must say. Let him lay me traps and men to pray to Jehovah me, I pray. 
Let I be me instead of playing games For chasing fame, let somebody set the lack of flames no Living my life to the fullest And shout out my halala to the fullest Let my lungs out I'm still rising up to greater highs As long as I'm